is mine. In a polarized world, many of us have blinders on. We tend to see only our human experience or recognize only the suffering of our own ethnic group. This does not get us anywhere. One ethnic group experienced an atomic bomb. Another group experienced slavery. With a polarized worldview, we only see or legitimize the ramifications of our own pain. It is easy for us to say and believe because we experience A, this caused B, and that is why we're now at C. It is far more difficult for the polarized mind to rationalize and believe that for another human being or another ethnic group, because they experience A, this caused B, and that is why they're now at C. With a polarized mind, it is nearly impossible to deduce that human suffering is human suffering. Neanderthal or adaptable? Are you a Neanderthal or are you an adaptable being? There is nothing wrong with living in concert with nature. But in my view, there is something wrong with not perceiving how our behavior impacts nature. Do we just eat, sleep, defecate, and fornicate? Or do we try to add a positive thing to these four basic processes? Are you a Neanderthal or are you an adaptable being? There is nothing wrong with living in concert with nature. But in my view, there is something wrong with not knowing how we harm it. Boxes. Do you, with a quick, irrefutable decision, put someone in a box? In essence, do you label people? I think we all do. But if we can stop and think before we categorize someone, we might realize that their whole being does not fit in our prescribed box. Some things do not go in their box. Some things go in our box. In many instances, parts of their being is part of our being. Do you, with a quick, self-made choice, put someone in a box? Hypocrisy. The glamour boys are always at the party where the money comes from, heaven only knows. I ain't a glamour boy. Hypocrisy. You see it in religion and you see it in politics. A person says A, but does B. We call BS when we see it in others. That is too easy. The goal is to be able to call it when we see it in ourselves. Preaching from the pew, but sexing quite a few. You've heard of a chatty Kathy or a Debbie Downer. Well, try not to be a righteous Rick. The glamour boys are always at the party where the money comes from heaven only knows. I ain't a glamour boy. The right mate. Are you looking for love or are you looking for a trophy wife? Ultimately, there's no right answer. The right answer is based on a critical examination of our motives. There are many factors to finding true love and true happiness. The right answer is the one we come to after we strip away our bravado. As for me, I'm looking for a very good fit. Are you looking for love or are you looking for a trophy wife? Ultimately, there's no right answer. The right answer is based on a critical examination of our motives. She said she was searching for a hero. I told her heroes are hard to find, but I could give her a zero and some numbers in front of it. Are you looking for a trophy wife or are you looking for the right mate? Adult children of dysfunctional families. Are you an adult child from a dysfunctional family? Many years removed from our childhood, and despite our accomplishments, we still suffer. Were you the family scapegoat? Or were you the family hero? Or were you the family peacekeeper? Something was missing in our childhood. Something was taken from us. How can we now fill the void? How can we now move on? Question. What are we mourning? Perhaps it is lost potential. 
Perhaps we know without the abuse, we would have grown up stronger, straighter, and not so bent. Question, what are we mourning? Perhaps it is lost innocence. A mistake. The thing with a mistake is that we do not know it is a mistake until we know it is a mistake. Does that make sense? We only know it's a mistake after the fact. What do we do when we make a mistake? Say, oh darn, and make the same mistake again? More importantly, does our mistake only impact us or does it impact others? Does our mistake harm others? Are we surrounding ourselves with people who help us grow? Or are we surrounding ourselves with people who perpetuate our flaws? <laughs>